Welcome back to my channel. Bing! We needed to get our calculator going. Hopefully you hear Carly every time she says, welcome back to my channel. Really, it's my channel. So if you want to sponsor me so I can play commercials, you're going to pay me and not Carly. <laughs> Nobody's going to sponsor us, just saying. Okay, so we are in a new unit. We're in our special equations unit. The reason that it's called special equations is because we're going to see some kinds of equations that we haven't seen before. So we're used to seeing an equation like this, hopefully. Let me show you. Like 2x minus 6 equals 18. We're used to these equations. But in this unit, they're going to get a little crazier than that. Our first lesson in special equations is rational equations. It's written really little up here, rational equations. And we just got out of the rational unit. So rational equations means we're going to have equations that are big old monstery fractions. They're always going to involve some kind of fraction. So when we solve rational equations, we're going to use cross multiplying to solve these. Cross multiply. Oh, teacher, get a grip. So we're going to do cross multiply and then we're going to do some distributing. So when we say cross multiply, we literally mean we're going to take this 3 in the top left and we're going to cross it down to the 4x plus 5 and multiply those things together. So that's going to look like 3 times 4x plus 5. You keep the equal sign that's in the middle. Then you're going to take this top right, cross it down, and multiply the x plus 1. So 3 times 4x plus 5 equals 9 times x plus 1. Yes? Now you distribute on the left side that 3 into each term. So you try that without me for just one second. Be careful when you distribute this guy in that you only multiply it to these two terms. So 3 times 4 is going to be 12. Keep the x. 3 times a positive 5 is going to be 15. Bring down your equal sign. And then multiply the 9 into the next parenthesis. So 9 times x is just 9x. Nine, 9 times positive 1 is positive 9. So now we have a letter and a number on each side of the equation or the equal sign. So what I like to do personally is I like to move my variable to the left and I like to move my number to the right because you have to get all the letters on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So what that would look like is I would take this 9x and I would subtract it because right here it's a positive. So if I want to move it to this left-hand side, I have to change it to its opposite. So underneath here, I'm going to write subtract minus 
subtract minus. That's the same thing, teacher. I'm going to write minus 9x. And then underneath this plus 9, I'm going to write minus 15. Is that making a little bit of sense what's happening there? So I could draw that a little differently now if I wanted to so that it, so it's actually like pointing to those things. So we're keeping this idea of crossing across the equal sign consistent. So now on the left, we have 12 x's. We're going to take away 9. That's going to give us 3 equals, what's 9 subtract 15? Negative 6, thank you. And now our last step is we got to get this 3 over to the right-hand side. And we have to do the opposite just like we did up here. So the opposite of multiply is division. So we're dividing both sides by 3. So now this number here is gone, and you have x is equal to negative 2. So the number that you would plug in to make these two fractions, these ugly fractions here, the number you would plug in to make these equal is negative 2. You guys okay with that one? Yeah? Okay. Next one, very similar. So we're going to keep up with our cross-multiply situation. We're going to take this 3, multiply it down to the bottom right. So that's going to look like 3 times x minus 7. That's going to equal, this time we're multiplying 2 and 5x. Left-hand side, what do I do with this 3? Starts with a D. Multiply or distribute. So multiply that guy in. 3 times X is going to give you 3X. 3 times negative 7 gives you minus 21 or negative 21. Equals 2 times 5X. So that's going to be 10x. You guys hanging in? Okay. Same thing as last time. I want to take this these letters, and I always like to move them to the left. You don't have to. We could move those the 3x to the right-hand side, but I just like to do the same exact thing every time so that I don't forget. And I have to move this 21 over to this side. So I'm going to have 3x minus 10x. And on this side, there's no number for me to add to. So I'm just going to write down plus 21 over here on the right-hand side. Notice that what I did is opposite of what you see. So you see a positive 10 here. It's a negative 10 on the other side. You see a negative 21 here. It's a positive 21 on the other side. So we have 3x minus 10x. That's going to be negative. Negative what? 7x. And then on this side, we just have 21. You can put the positive on it if you want to, but we don't really need it. And then last step, just like the last one, is to divide by the number that is on the x. So 21 divided by negative 7. What's that one give us? Negative 4? Negative 3. Excellent. Not too bad, right? Okay. 
So I want you guys to try number three. How about you do just the multiply? So wait, stop at this step. That's what I'm trying to say. On number three, stop at this step so that you can make sure all of your signs are, are good. So I'm going to walk around for a second just to check on you. And then before you do the last solving bit, we'll make sure everything's okay. Okay, about 30 seconds and we'll check in. About 15. Ten, five, three, two. Okay, so I'm getting that we need to solve negative 4x plus 12 equals 5x plus 15. Did you guys do okay? Was that a yes? Okay, so I'm going to take this 5x. And I'm going to move it to the left by subtracting it. And then I'm going to take this plus 12 and move it to the right by subtracting it. So our first thing is always to add or subtract. On the left-hand side, if you take four negatives, and combine it with five negatives, you're gonna get nine negatives. And on the right, positive. <gasps> Why do you laugh at me? Oh no. Uh, uh, 12. Okay, so 15 subtract 12. What is it? You guys better tell me. Three. Three. Oh, no. Well, this time when we divide, does it work out nice? Nope. So this you can leave as negative 3 ninths, or if you're, like, super good at simplifying. Does anybody remember what this simplifies down to? 3 ninths? One third. So sometimes you'll get a fraction, and that's okay. Not very often in the problems on your quiz, but sometimes. Are you okay? Are you sure? Okay. Family. This next one is a doozy. Do you guys know why? Because it has an X up here. Watch what happens. We take this one, we multiply it down, and then we take the x and we multiply it. Oh boy, I am not liking the looks of this. Distributing the one is like silly because it just stays 11x plus eight. But on the right hand side, disaster because we now have 2x squared plus 5x. Oh no. Which means that if we wanted to solve this by hand, we would have to factor it. Do you know what I'm saying? I ain't about that life. I don't want to be factoring this. Do you want to be factoring this? 
No. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to Desmos. We're going to cheat. So in Desmos, we're going to go to Math Tools, and we're going to click on Graphing Calculator. Then we're going to type in this big old equation. So we're going to hit 1 backslash 2x plus 5. Then we're going to arrow out of the bottom, hit our equal sign, and do x over 11x plus 8. And notice we have two solutions this time. Does anybody know why we have two? Because of this little x squared here. That's what, that's what makes this more complicated because we have to factor this guy. So because of this 2, that means you're going to have two separate solutions. So x this time is exactly what you see in Desmos. So negative 1, what's our other solution? 4. So you look at the x-axis. I'll make my x-axis um, blue. So I highlighted, maybe I'll highlight it in green. You want to look where it passes through the x-axis. So that passes through at negative 1 and positive 4. Are you guys okay with that? Are you sure? If we wanted to be super A+, plus, we could go back through and now check all of our answers. Like the first one that was 3 and x plus 1. And then on the other side, 9 and 4x plus 5. And it passes through at negative 2. So we did get this first one right. You know what I'm saying? Are you sure? That's the whole shebang. That's not too bad, right? So let me give you a little bit of advice. This page... We don't really need to do this page. We might skip seize this page. When you go to Canvas to take your quiz, now that you know you can solve these in Desmos, the first four, it's going to be really easy for you to just plug them in Desmos instead of doing this. But word of caution, are you listening? If you're planning to do any other math, or go to college, do it the long way. If you're like, Miss Four, I'm just trying to get my credit so I can graduate, use Desmos. Do you know what I'm saying? Is that a yes? For realsies? Okay. Quiz six, one.